Multilinear subspace learning is an approach to dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction can be performed on a data tensor whose observations have been vectorized and organized into a data tensor, or whose observations are matrices that are concatenated into a data tensor. Here are some examples of data tensors whose observations are vectorized or whose observations are matrices concatenated into data tensor images 2D, 3D, video sequences 3D, 4D, and hyperspectral cubes 3D, 4D. The mapping from a high-dimensional vector space to a set of lower-dimensional vector spaces is a multilinear projection. Multilinear subspace learning algorithms are higher-order generalizations of linear subspace learning methods such as principal component analysis (PCA), independent component analysis (ECA), linear discriminant analysis (LDA), and canonical correlation analysis (CCA). Topic Background With the advances in data acquisition and storage technology, big data or massive data sets are being generated on a daily basis in a wide range of emerging applications. Most of these big data are multidimensional. Moreover, they are usually very high dimensional, with a large amount of redundancy, and only occupying a part of the input space. Therefore, dimensionality reduction is frequently employed to map high-dimensional data to a low-dimensional space while retaining as much information as possible. Linear subspace learning algorithms are traditional dimensionality reduction techniques that represent input data as vectors and solve for an optimal linear mapping to a lower-dimensional space. Unfortunately, they often become inadequate when dealing with massive multidimensional data. They result in very high dimensional vectors, lead to the estimation of a large number of parameters. Multilinear subspace learning employ different types of data tensor analysis tools for dimensionality reduction. Multilinear subspace learning can be applied to observations whose measurements were vectorized and organized into a data tensor, or whose measurements are treated as a matrix and concatenated into a tensor. <laughs> <laughs> Algorithms Multilinear principal component analysis Historically, multilinear principal component analysis has been referred to as M mode PCA, a terminology which was coined by Peter Krunenberg. In 2005, Vasilescu and Terzopoulos introduced the multilinear PCA terminology as a way to better differentiate between linear tensor decompositions and multilinear tensor decomposition, as well as, to better differentiate between analysis approaches that computed second-order statistics associated with each data tensor mode axis S, and subsequent work on multilinear independent component analysis that computed higher-order statistics statistics associated with each tensor mode – axis. MPCA is an extension of PCA. <laughs> <laughs> Multilinear independent component analysis Multilinear independent component analysis is an extension of ECA. Topic: Multilinear linear discriminant analysis. Multilinear extension of LDA. TTP-based discriminant analysis with tensor representation data. TTP-based general tensor discriminant analysis (GTDA). TVP-based uncorrelated multilinear discriminant analysis (UMLDA). Topic: Multilinear canonical correlation analysis. Multilinear extension of CCA. 
HTTP-based, tensor canonical correlation analysis TCCA. TVP-based, multilinear canonical correlation analysis MCCA. TVP-based, Bayesian multilinear canonical correlation analysis BMTF. A TTP is a direct projection of a high-dimensional tensor to a low-dimensional tensor of the same order, using N projection matrices for an NTH order tensor. It can be performed in N steps with each step performing a tensor matrix multiplication product. The N steps are exchangeable. This projection is an extension of the higher order singular value decomposition HOSVD to subspace learning. Hence, its origin is traced back to the Tucker decomposition in 1960s. A TVP is a direct projection of a high dimensional tensor to a low dimensional vector, which is also referred to as the rank 1 projections. As TVP projects a tensor to a vector, it can be viewed as multiple projections from a tensor to a scalar. Thus, the TVP of a tensor to a p-dimensional vector consists of p-projections from the tensor to a scalar. The projection from a tensor to a scalar is an elementary multilinear projection EMP. In EMP, a tensor is projected to a point through n-unit projection vectors. It is the projection of a tensor on a single line resulting a scalar, with one projection vector in each mode. Thus, the TVP of a tensor object to a vector in a p-dimensional vector space consists of PEMPs. This projection is an extension of the canonical decomposition, also known as the parallel factors decomposition. Topic: Typical approach in MSL. There are n sets of parameters to be solved, one in each mode. The solution to one set often depends on the other sets, except when n equals one, the linear case. Therefore, the suboptimal iterative procedure in is followed. Initialization of the projections in each mode. For each mode, fixing the projection in all the other mode, and solve for the projection in the current mode. Do the mode-wise optimization for a few iterations or until convergence, this is originated from the alternating least square method for multi-way data analysis. <laughs> Pros and cons The advantages of MSL over traditional linear subspace modeling, in common domains where the representation is naturally somewhat tensorial, are MSL preserves the structure and correlation that the original data had before projection, by operating on a natural tensorial representation of the multidimensional data. MSL can learn more compact representations than its linear counterpart, in other words, it needs to estimate a much smaller number of parameters. Thus, MSL can handle big tensor data more efficiently, by performing computations on a representation with many fewer dimensions. This leads to lower demand on computational resources, however, MSL algorithms are iterative and are not guaranteed to converge, where an MSL algorithm does converge, it may do so at a local optimum. In contrast, traditional linear subspace modeling techniques often produce an exact closed form solution. MSL convergence problems can often be mitigated by choosing an appropriate subspace dimensionality, and by appropriate strategies for initialization, for determination, and for choosing the order in which projections are solved. Pedagogical resources Survey, a survey of multilinear subspace learning for tensor data open access version. Lecture, video lecture on UMPCA at the 25th International Conference on Machine Learning ICML 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Code 
MATLAB Tensor Toolbox by Sandia National Laboratories. The MPCA algorithm written in MATLAB MPCA plus Elder included. The UMPCA algorithm written in MATLAB data included. The UMLDA algorithm written in MATLAB data included. Topic: <laughs> Tensor data sets. 3D gate data, third order tensors, 128 by 88 by 20, 21.2 m, 64 by 44 by 20, 9, .9 m, 32 by 22 by 10, 3. 2 m. Topic. See also. CP decomposition. Dimension reduction Multilinear algebra Multilinear principal component analysis Tensor Tensor decomposition Tensor software Tucker decomposition <laughs>